the medium is called because of what has been happening over the last couple of weeks. Um, the Democratic Labour Party is an institution built on a constitution and on rules. Um, what we have seen over the last couple of days is uh, a movement away from what is normally the, the norm in this, in this institution. Um, last night, um, I think any person who is a member of the Democratic Labour Party, matter of fact, any person who lives in this country and believes in democracy, what we saw on our, on our videos with the police invading uh, the Democratic Labour Party, people changing locks, that type of behavior is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Um, I understand that this is a political party and we have differences of opinion. Um, that is okay, but it must be done in a particular way. And so what we saw last night sent a signal that we don't want to be sent then to our young people. We cannot on one, on one hand saying that we need to see more discipline within our society and then we have members within this organization displaying our level of indiscipline. And so when we met this afternoon, that is one of the things that we were concerned about. What is the message that we are sending to our people, our younger persons? And especially those, those young people who, over the last eight, ten months, who have decided that they wanted to be part of an institution and to contribute to their country. Now that is important. How do we go back to them now, after that, that, that ludicrous behavior, and say to them, all is well? Okay, so we, we, need to, we need to establish that first. We are a party of rules. We are a party governed by a constitution that we must follow, okay? Um, so this evening, we met and we decided that there, there are some things we need to put in place. I will not discuss that now because these are ongoing discussions, but sooner rather than later, you will hear the full story, right? But we need to try our best to recover the confidence of the people of this country and this party, right? There are too many things that have been going on. And one of the other things that we agree to, like I said, is the Constitution. There are rules that we must follow. And so we decided this afternoon that we will repose our confidence within the General Secretary and the President. We have seen some things that happen that are questionable. Okay, and so before we jump off in the deep end, we need to make certain, because these are individuals who were voted in just last year. The membership of this organization voted for these individuals. And what we are seeing is a group of persons who work with, who are members of the General Council and they right, making decisions without the general body being part of it. And that is something that we have to be cognizant of, okay? And we are not saying that these things, something might not happen, but we are saying there's a process. Let the process work, okay? And so you're sending the messages. It's the messages that you're sending. If we don't like you, we can get together as a group and we can suspend you or we can do this. We are still waiting to hear what the charges are. What are the charges? You are suspending some person with no charges. We have not seen the charges. And, and you know, anybody who understands labor matters would tell you, you can't do that. You, do, you don't do that. You don't say, oh man, then decide, well, well I think that maybe you, 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 stole the, you stole the chicken from the, from the cook. I must know. I must know what it is I'm being charged. And, and that is the one, one of the problems that we're having. Okay? Um, you right of natural justice. That's for everybody here, even you as a, as a press. If you go to work, you have the right of natural justice in night to defend yourself. You can't put some person on, on thing. Then you, lo you, you put locks on, a, on an office. And the person who's working in the office cannot get in there to take up what their personal belongings are. Well, what is that? That is, that is this unacceptable behavior. And all I'm saying is, we as an organization for the last 69 years, we have set a tone in this country that people understand that the Democratic Labour Party stands for something and something that is good and right. So we cannot now go and change it.
We cannot do that. We have to do it right. Question, Mr. Second mm. Vice President. Mm. There probably is some perception mm -hmm. in the public domain that the damage is, is already done. How does the Executive Council respond to that perception that may exist in the public domain? Uh, you know, we always try to build consensus for, our, for, our, for the members of the public, right? And that is an ongoing thing. We recognize that things has happened, okay? We cannot push them on in the carpet. But the party, this party that survived for the last 69 years, certainly will respond in a way that the public would understand that we need to get down. We are willing to work with you. We have there, there are some problems that we have seen, and we are willing to address those problems, right? But we are not going to just throw things on the carpet and say it never existed. Because we understand. We, we live in the real world, right? So, can you speak with some specificity, though, regarding what areas of the Constitution that the Executive Council believes was either broached, infringed, overlooked, no, or oh, overstepped? No, 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 I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that, because, you know, this is a party of members, right? And I believe that the membership, the membership is those persons who, whatever it is, should be notified first. Right? I do not believe that we should be going in the press and hearing our linen and then persons who are members of this organization waking up one morning and reading something in the press. I don't, I don't think that's acceptable. Because when you pay your, your dues and I pay my dues, whether you're the president or the general secretary, we are all equal in here. So I think that's what we should be doing. Right? That is what we should be doing. Where does the party go from here tonight? Now that this executive council has met and the reported party, its The party the will go where it has been going for the last 69 years. Mm -hmm. We will continue to build on our reputation and our membership. Okay? That is what we will do. Like I said before, there might be some issues, but we will try our best to resolve the issues. Mm -hmm. But taking into consideration that we repose our strength within our membership. Mm -hmm. It is our members. This is a membership organization. Mm -hmm. It is not owned by the president. It is not owned by the general secretary. It is not owned by the general, the, the general council, nor the executive council. Mm -hmm. Okay? Each of them have specific rules within this organization. And my final question to you, Mr. Second Vice President, there was a media briefing, to, not media briefing, there was a media statement issued today by uh, Mr. Pedro Shepard, who is a member of this party mm -hmm. and is seen as the interim, as far as we know, mm -hmm. the interim general secretary of the party. Mm -hmm. That statement indicated that the president, Mr. Yearwood, had been suspended. Mm -hmm. Does the executive council now have any particular standing regarding that statement that was disseminated to the press? Well, what I said, what I said earlier is that the executive council met this afternoon mm -hmm. and have proposed their, 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 their solidarity with the general secretary, the elected, elected general secretary and president. Okay, cool. That is, that is, the, that is the position. Okay? That's good for me. Okay. Quick question. Yes, sir. Um, the last update we were have had from the previous meeting last night mm -hmm. was the suspension of the president as well as the general secretary. Mm -hmm. I know you made mention of the constitution. Mm -hmm. So is that a valid suspension? If it's a valid suspension? Yes. <laughs> um, I, I would say this. There is a constitution. And we will follow this constitution slavishly. Okay, that is all I will say at this time. But uh, like, like I said before, there's, there's rules within this organization and it's a constitution that we have to follow, right? There are rules and we will follow those rules. We will adhere to those rules, okay? We will not divert from them because you cannot run an organization if you're diverting from what the organization is built on. You know what I'm saying? So we will follow that and, and amongst ourselves, we will come to a consensus as to how we will move forward because this is a democratic Labour Party. It is, like I said before, it is not the party of Ronnie Yearwood, it is not the party of Ralph Thorne, it is not the party of Steve Blackett, it is not the party of Brother Shepherd. It is the party of the membership, the entire membership of this organization. So no one person is better than the other.